The role of human rights in relation to state funding of private education is still quite contested, but there are some clear main principles. As we know, the state must allow private educational institutions, but at the same time, international human rights law says clearly there is no duty to fund private education. On the other hand, it also shows that the state isn't prevented from doing so. So in this contested middle ground where the state may fund private education, what are the conditions which are applicable to this situation? And my chapter extracts several main principles all around the fact that in all conditions, the state retains primary responsibility for the right to education. This means that the state must respect, protect, and fulfill the right. The duty to respect means that the state must not hinder anyone's right to education. And public funding for private education therefore means that it must not get in the way of every individual's right to education, either in the public or the private uh, sectors. Secondly, the state must protect individuals against other individuals in the context of funding, this means that the state must make funding conditional on private recipients respecting human rights standards, in particular around quality education. And thirdly, the state's duty to fulfill means that it must provide education, which means in the context of funding, that it should ensure funding promotes equality and non-discrimination in both the public and the private sectors. And this is on grounds of race, gender, disability, sexual orientation, but also on grounds of poverty and socioeconomic disadvantage.